Morning everybody, you're at a place called Potu Intake and this is Cam Speedy from Genesis Energy. So um, this is a really important part of the Tongariro power scheme here where water is put back into the river and then taken away again. Can you tell us a little bit Cam about um, the fact that, that Genesis takes water from the river for producing energy but then how does it make sure that when, when it put, that it puts back enough water to make sure that the, the rest of the river is not affected by that? Sure, sure. So the, the Tongariro Power Scheme is a very complex uh, set of tunnels and canals and water intakes. It takes water from a very large part of um, the country, some of it's within the topal catchment but some of it's outside the topal catchment and it brings all that water to uh, a series of power stations which generate electricity. Here at Porto Intake, the water comes back in from Rangipo Power Station where it's just generated electricity. It's put into the river for a short distance and then at Porto Intake here it's taken away to the west again to be reused in the Takanu powerhouse. Um, so this is a real hub of the scheme. Uh, we have to make sure that the water that goes downstream is sufficient to look after a world famous trout fishery. Um, but not only that, there's a really important uh, tourism industry based around this river. Uh, rafting, kayaking, fishing, uh, scenic values. Uh, but there are biodiversity values, there's important field populations on this river. Um, and for Māori, for Tūwhare Tour, the Tongariro River is an incredibly spiritual, cultural, important icon. So there are all these issues that, that we have to balance out. Yes, we take energy to run New Zealand society and the New Zealand economy. We all have energy hungry lives. But for every amount of energy or unit of energy we take out of this river to run coffee machines and computers and TVs and electric blankets, is a unit of energy that doesn't fuel rafting or fishing or fuel or cultural and spiritual value. So, uh, you know, it's about balancing those units of energy. Um, the way we make sure we do the right thing down here is we have incredibly intensive and comprehensive monitoring programs looking at the bug life in the river, how much algae or, or weed is growing in the river, how the blue ducks are doing. We work with DOC to ensure that the trout fishery is well monitored to make sure we understand um, what's happening in the fishery. And we work with agencies like the rafting companies and the kayaking associations to uh, the, the water level that's set downstream here is a water level that means they can have lots of fun and, and their industry will flourish uh, on this amount of water. Um, Tūwhare Tōa, again we have a relationship with all iwi groups around the country where our assets are. Here the important relationship is with Ngāti Tūwhare Tōa who hold mana whenua for this area and we have programs and mechanisms in place to engage with them and to work with them around some of those issues. We don't get it right all the time um, but I guess in good faith we do our best to ensure we try and strike that balance uh, because if I asked you to turn off your electric blanket tonight because we didn't have any electricity I don't think you'd be too happy about that eh? And, and some of you wonder if the water's affected at all. It, nothing happens to the water. There's, there's nothing put into the water or taken out of the water. It's just the same water that was taken out as what's put back in. Well, thanks, Cam. No worries, Angie.